Hello everyone, this is Karen Brazo from Karen B's Alchemy Acrylic Art. I am doing a very short uh, video today before I actually uh, attempt to do my first 48 by 48 uh, pour, which is over here on the background. But what I'd like to do, because I get so many questions about how much paint it actually takes, I'm actually going to do just this very quick tutorial on uh, how I mix my paint. So today, uh, I think most of you know that I use a lot of Bayer paints. So today I'm using Bayer Marquee. It's, uh, this one is ultra white. And I always strain my paint. So this is the mesh net strainer that I use. You can buy them at a, any paint shop or uh, some home hardwares or home depots or Lowe's in Canada. I'm just going to strain a whole lot of paint. Just kind of lift your netting and let the paint strain itself here. And you can just gently squeeze the netting when it gets close to the end. That should be good. And I don't dispose of these, I wash them. I just soak them in a bit of uh, water and dish soap and rinse them off and they clean up very well so you can reuse them over and over again. Just going to change my gloves. So um, I got the idea today that I'd like to have a little bit of a luster in this painting. So I thought rather than add some varathane or polyurethane, you know, on top of it when I'm done the painting, that um, I would actually add some to my paint directly. So I'm going to try, I had this left over. It's, uh, it's varathane. It's called uh, Nano Defense. And it is a premium clear floor finish. So it's nice and clear, very liquidy. And I haven't tried to use this yet in, in a paint, but I'm going to go ahead and do that today on this large pour. So I'm going to need, I figured, probably about five solo cups of the white. I'm going to add some Floetrol to my white just to help thin it out. Actually, I'm just going to grab my, my empty bucket here. The best way to really, really mix a paint is actually just to flip it from one container to the next here. Stirring a little while it's in here. I just had to transfer it over once and it's it's perfect. It's good good consistency. Yep, it should actually be really good. Perfect. So as for my other paint, today I'm going to be using Artist Loft. 
Flow Acrylic. I usually get this uh, at, uh, at Michael's. I'm thinking I'm going to need probably an entire Solo Cup of this. So I'm going to fill it three quarters. Or close to three quarters anyways. I'm just going to put that a little bit closer. So there's a little bit of a rim there, but not, not too much. This is about actually an inch and a half from the rim is where the paint starts. And I'd like to add some of this varathane to it. Get some screw sticks here. This should give the paint a really nice shine. I'm just adding some water now. I'm actually going to do the uh, transferring again the best way to mix the paint, in my opinion. More water. It's going to take quite a bit because this is a full solo cup here. A lot of bubbling in here actually. Looks like it might be good to get some cells out of this. not sure if I even going to have enough for just one solo cup. I should probably maybe do one and a half just to be sure. This is good. Pretty good consistency. A little bit more water here. It seems to be getting a little thicker as I go along here, which is weird. That's okay. I can always just add water just before I start pouring it. That should be good. So there's my three quarters and about a half cup solo cup. And we're gonna go with the red. I'm actually gonna take my gloves off just for the mixing. I'll put a little bit less this time.
bit. So good. Okay, I'm gonna go with the yellow. Transferring here for a little bit. Love working with primary colors. I think it's my absolute favorite. You just never know what you're going to end up with in the end, especially using primaries. Okay, that should be good. additives here that I'm putting in the water and the floor finish, but kind of have to go by, by feel for the consistency that you need. You get used to it when you've been doing a lot. And I guess if you're starting out, you wouldn't really be doing 48 by 48 inch pours. You'd want to start a lot smaller. thinking that I'm going to be adding some green today as well. So the three primaries and green. But I don't think I want as much of it.
mixing very nicely in the green for some reason. I think it has to do with the pigments, I guess. Good idea to keep notes also in a book when you're doing pores and adding certain additives to the paint just so that you can remember how it reacted and I think it would be good good to do that. Okay. I think this is good. So I can put this away now. Verithane. There's my four cups of white. Actually, I shouldn't say four cups of white. It's actually four solo cups of white. And I have some paint left over from before. I'm just going to add a bit more to make sure that these are full. And I'm going to make myself a fifth backup cup just to make sure. Okay, so just to recap, I'm doing a 48 by 48 pour. Haven't done that before, but I've done some 34s by 34s, so I thought um, I just kind of remembered how much paint I needed for that one. So I'm just assuming I'm going to need about five solo cups of white, about one and a half of the red, one and a half of the yellow, one and a half of the blue. And I didn't want as much green in there, so on the painting. So I'm actually just going with three quarters of a cup of a solo, uh, of a solo cup. And again, I've only added some Floetrol to the, my white wood, wood floors, and I've actually used that as my medium um, for, and it looks for the paint. It looks like it's going to. So just to recap, I haven't done a 48 by 48 before, I've done a 34 by 34. I'm assuming this is probably the amount of paint that I'm going to need. I've got five solo, full cups, solo cups of white paint. This was mixed with Floetrol. And I've got a one, or three quarters of a solo cup plus a half of red. Same for the blue, the yellow and the green. And I used Instead of Floetrol, I actually used Verithane, which is a clear, a clear coat Verithane, uh, which actually is meant uh, for wood floors. So I wanted to try that today just because it, I figured it would give a nice uh, luster. Sometimes I actually use the Verithane to cover my paintings when I'm done. Uh, a couple of coats to give it a nice shiny appearance and, and just to protect it. Uh, I like to have a lot of grazing and crackling in my in my uh, 
my pores, so I always make sure that I put some sort of varathane or polyethylene on top just to protect those those crevices through the years because it really looks awesome. Uh, a lot of uh, artists feel that it's it's a defect in the painting, but I think it's just awesome. It makes it look really neat. Um, so anyways, my next video will be the actual pour on this 48 by 48 and hopefully you will uh, be watching that one. Thank you.